Welcome back. Well, fall's here, and not only should you be thinking about how to stay healthy as the weather cools off, you should also be thinking about how to keep your pet healthy as well. My guest today is celebrity vet Dr. Jeff Werber. He's also the president and chief veterinarian of the VCA Century Veterinary Group. He has the latest health and safety tips about how to care for your pet as the temperatures begin to dip. Hi, Dr. Werber. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm great, thank you. Good, good. So, you know, you mentioned the colder weather, shorter days, all these things, you know, dogs don't want to necessarily get out. So uh, it's, it's important to, uh, th you know, think about it. what can we do to, uh, to, to get your pets out there. And, uh, and one of the things I do is, is playing fetch. Fetch is a great game and there's a, a, a great device. Actually, recently had its 20th anniversary. It's by PetMate. It's called the Chuck It launcher. They have the ring chaser, they have the ball launcher, and it's just a phenomenal toy you can take and you can throw this thing a mile. It bounces all over the place. The dogs are zigzagging. They're trying to catch it. It's fantastic. And because with the handle, you can pick up the ball after it's brought back to you or the ring, you don't have to touch the slobbery ball. So I say it's a great way to make fetch happen and to have slobber free play. Slobber free play. I like it. <laughs> slobbery play. And Bandit here, Bandit here loves it. I've got to say, uh, and I was certainly surprised when you said that dogs don't necessarily want to get out. I thought dogs always wanted to be out and about and running around. They, they do, but it, it depends. You know, when it's really cold in climates that are really cold, they're going, I'm not going out there. And if you have to keep them outside, you want to make sure they're moving, keep them you know, protected, especially when there's wind chill. If you have not only cold weather, but a lot of wind and that temperature drops really way below freezing, uh, I mean, certain breeds are, are built for it. You know, you got the Samoyeds, you got the Huskies, you got the Malamutes. But a lot of little dogs, uh, I, you know, little, little short-haired dogs, even a dog like Bandit here, a little Shih Tzu, uh, they, um, we have to be a little bit careful with them because they can, uh, they can get cold. My sister had a Shih Tzu, so I know they love being pampered. So what snacks would you recommend? Well, you know, this is for year-round, really. The, the key is we have to be careful because this is the time of year where dogs' tendons have a tendency to get a hold of the wrong things. You know, between Halloween and, 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 and Thanksgiving and, and, and Christmas and you name it, uh, they're getting a hold of fatty foods, nuts, chocolate. We're not very careful with them. We need to be more careful. Let's give them something that they can eat that's safe for them. Uh, my dogs love, for example, the pepperoni treats because they're real meat snacks. Uh, the first ingredient, real, real beef. So, so there's something that, that they'll love because they love meat. They're good, you know, they love those, those they're carnivores. Uh, so um, that's what I would recommend. And, and stay away from things that aren't good for them. Um, and uh, as I said, chocolate, nuts, raisins, grapes, uh, sugar-free foods that have xylitol, just don't take any chances. Give them something that's made for them. Pepperoni is a great solution. So keep in mind that they're pets, not people. Exactly, exactly. Well, and then no matter how much they sniff and beg, the answer's no, you've got your own treats. Exactly, for sure, for sure. All right, so when it comes to keeping our pets healthy, if something goes wrong, oftentimes pets, like people, need medicine. So are there any ways to save some money on their prescription medication? Oh, absolutely. You know, this is a great uh, saving money hack. I recently had a client in uh, that needed a medicine for glaucoma, which is very, very expensive. The brand was like over $200. The generic was 80 We, we found a prescription site. It's, a, it's called Inside RX. It's a free prescription saving card. You can, you can download it, uh, accepted by thousands and thousands of, of pharmacies, retail pharmacies across the country. And uh, this same drug, from 80 down to 18 and a half dollars. So it's really great, up to up to 80% savings on the generics. So I would uh, highly recommend checking it out inside RX, uh, the free prescription card. I mean, I'm, honestly, I, I'm gonna carry them in my office. I was so impressed. And again, the, the cost of prescri prescription medications has gone up. So whether it's eye medicine or insulin for diabetic or antibiotics, anything that you could get at a regular pharmacy, think about the, uh, the card itself, it's really great. That's pretty extraordinary. And when you think about it, our own prescriptions that we get as human beings are pricey. I had no idea that pets were as well. Yeah, absolutely. And all, speaking of, of pets and prescriptions, I think why the Inside RX card is good for people too. Um, but the uh, one thing I want to warn people is uh, in colder weather, people tendency, have a tendency to stop their flea medication. Because again, in many cold climates, fleas aren't a problem. But Ticks remain a problem. In fact, a lot of tick species prefer the cold weather. So you want to make sure your pets stay on that flea and tick medication year round as well. Boy, those little pesky fleas and ticks, huh? My goodness. Oh, but unbelievable. Yes. And what else do we need to know? 
Yeah, just you know, travel time, holiday time is a big time for travel. Make sure that you have your uh, your your pet's uh, travel kit ready, identification, a picture, up to date on vaccines, any medications, and also just make sure to check with the airlines. Airlines are cracking down on some of uh, the pets that are being brought on board. If you're using, if it's a service dog or an emotional support dog, make sure you have all the necessary paperwork ready and handy. And if you're going to stay at a pet friendly hotel, make sure they know what size dog you have, because some of them have weight limits. A lot of very important details to keep in mind if you travel with your dog. Jeff Werber, President and Chief Veterinarian of the WCA Century Veterinary Group and Celebrity Vet, has given us some great tips. Thanks so much, Dr. Werber. Thanks, Audrey, for having me.